Sunday, April 8th, 2018, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. I like to talk about trade wars, uh, the reserve currency, Triffin's uh, dilemma, and what I think is going on right now between the U.S. and China, President Trump, back and forth, uh, tariffs, uh, the Chinese now. Uh, also saying they're going to do uh, retaliate. We had a comment last week that Trump would uh, uh, look into a hundred billion worth of imports from China. I'll start with Triffin, uh, the Triffin dilemma. Triffin was, uh, he was a Belgian uh, economist. And I'll read here from uh, Wikipedia. It says the Triffin dilemma or Triffin paradox. paradox is the conflict of economic interest that arises between short-term domestic and long-term international objectives for countries whose currencies serve as the global reserve currencies. This dilemma was first identified in the 1960s by a Belgian-American economist, Robert Triffin. So I'll go over what this uh, paradox or dilemma is. Um, so the US since 1945, after the end of the war, or you could go back to 44, the Bretton Woods uh, Agreement, has had the, the reserve currency. And that happened because <laughs> Europe was on its knees. Uh, there had been two big war major wars. The U.S. benefited a lot from those wars by selling uh, war um, ma materials. And, and they had most of the Americans had most of the, the gold in the world. So the dollar was made the reserve currency, the gold exchange, uh, gold standard, uh, Bretton Woods was implemented. implemented. And what that l led to, the dilemma, is that any other country in the world that wants to uh, uh, develop its economy to trade, they need to have dollars. Um, they need to earn dollars, and what that leads uh, to is uh, this competitive or uh, this trade, these trade wars, uh, because they need to try to sell it as cheaply as possible, uh, because there's going to be other countries trying to do the same thing. They have to earn dollars, and who is going to buy dollars, uh, buy their goods, and, and give these countries do uh, dollars? It's the U.S. consumer, the U.S. economy. Uh, under the gold standard, uh, up until 1971, the the balance was better. There was uh, tr trade balance was better because uh, gold kept an anchor on on the uh, credit creation, on malinvestment. People thought twice before uh, starting some kind of venture to try to uh, export any good to try to earn uh, dollars. So. Um, that's the other uh, thing that's really uh, kind of accentuated all the imbalances under uh, this global reserve currency uh, uh, scenario has been the f fact that the dollar has become a fiat money uh, system and they, they backed it uh, by the petro uh, dollar, which is basically uh, forcing all countries to... Uh, sell their commodities, especially oil in dollars. And oil, of course, uh, if you don't produce oil, any economy in the world uh, needs oil to function. It's the uh, lifeblood of the economy. It gives the economy energy. The economy can't function without oil. So you need dollars. So, uh, And that's why uh, you look at the uh, chart, U.S. trade balance uh, going back... 50, 60 years, you see that prior to 1971, it was near zero. There was a little bit of fluctuation in every other country. It was only after 1971 that uh, with the uh, gold anchor being taken away that uh, we've got into these uh, trade deficits. Not to say that dur uh, during the uh, when the dollar was backed by gold up, up until 1971, it's not to say that there weren't uh, any balance of payment troubles, but it wasn't as severe. I think it's going to help if we go to a global uh, reserve currency that's still a fiat money currency. Uh, these imbalances won't uh, be uh, solved. What uh, 
Trump and the Chinese are doing now, this tit for tat. I think this is just theater. Uh, I think maybe, uh, hopefully, uh, this uh, petrodollar and this fiat money system that we've had since 1971 uh, will be, uh, how can I say, reformed, not reformed, but it will collapse and something new and better will come about. Uh, maybe uh, this is just a cover, all the talk of trade war. I think this is just theater for the public uh, behind the scenes. I, I personally think that uh, it could be that uh, we're going to be on a truly uh, world reserve currency, and that will be gold, which is neutral and uh, which is gives uh, countries discipline and it doesn't allow countries to cheat uh, and you can't you know create uh, credit booms in your country because <laughs> it doesn't work uh, you know the 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 uk tried that during the Bretton woods they had to devalue the pound a couple of times i think in the late 40s and then in 1968 because they they were printing too much money at home so i think it will uh, give it discipline and why do I say that might be what's happening and uh, that uh, China and the US are actually collaborating and working together to uh, reset the whole monetar monetary system well it's because uh, President Trump had an advisor um, during the campaign economic advisor called Judy Shelton and uh, She's not in the administration, but I'm sure uh, Donald Trump probably uh, talked to her or listened to or looked at her ideas. And her uh, point, Judy Shelton, is that under a gold standard, uh, an honest neutral, and by neutral I mean it's not uh, political, because gold is not political, it's the free market money. Under a gold standard, a free market a system where countries have to have discipline. Uh, you can't, you know, just put it on the credit card and every and you, you have all these trade wars. Uh, under the gold standard, it's much more stable. And that's what Judy Shelton points out to. And she, she thinks that we should uh, go to a gold standard. Well, things are going to change. Uh, this world of credit and consumption is not sustainable, in my opinion, and that's what's going on. I could be wrong, but um, a lot of times I would say uh, what the public is given by the media, by the press, is completely different than what is actually happening be behind the scene. And the reason for that is... Because sometimes when you have to change things so dramatically, they need to keep it uh, under wraps or else it won't work. Um, I could be wrong. You might ask, uh, why go back on a gold standard uh, if the last gold standard fail? I think this one is going to be different. The previous gold standard under the Bretton Woods Agreement, the U.S. dominated it because they had all the gold or most of the gold. But uh, if you look at uh, the last 10, 15 years, all the emerging market countries, uh, Russia, China, India, all the big countries that have been accumulating gold, and Europe has a lot of gold, US supposedly has a lot of gold, it will be a more balanced system. And that's why I think it will work. It won't be uh, dependent on one country that can just do what it wants, like the US did under the Bretton Woods system, and that's why it didn't work. But uh, So that's why I think Russia and China and other countries have been accumulating gold, because they know what's coming. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share it, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can also follow me on steamit.com, uh, which is uh, also linked to uh, DTube, and you can also follow me on Twitter, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.